And uh, earlier, we sort of went to L.A. very briefly. We but they were going to a commercial break. So we did go live to Hollywood. Uh, we're not live in Hollywood now, but we have now got the main nominations. Yeah, next best thing, you can have your British yeah. pang shop version yeah. so, of the Oscar nomination So imagine ceremony. you're at the little ceremony they have at 5am in the morning in Hollywood and I'm some completely unknown idiot from the Comedy Channel or something called Zait oh, or something like close. that. Uh, and I will now rate that song what the nominees are. Um, oh, come on, then. The best picture, uh, obviously, Oppenheimer is in there. Uh, no and Barbie and the other... Uh, films are American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, that is a very good film. Killers of the Flower Moon, also a very good film. Uh, Maestro, uh, Past Lives. Maestro. Oh, Maestro. I always say Maestro. People say Maestro, don't they? Past Lives, Poor Things, Zone of The Zone of in Interest. Uh, best... <laughs> I've zoned out of interest already. Yeah, well, you don't like showbiz. I'm, I'm fascinated. I used to like it. I'm fed up with it now. Best Actress, Annette Benning uh, yeah. for Niad. Uh, Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon. Stop undermining my Oscar announcement. Uh, Sandra Hewler, Anatomy of a Fall. <laughs> Carrie Mulligan, Maestro. I do know her. Uh, Emma Stone, Poor Things. Best Actor, uh, Bradley Cooper for Maestro. Uh, Coleman, you see, got me saying Maestro now. Uh, yes. Coleman Domingo, Rustin. Paul Giamatti, uh, The Holdovers. Very good film, that, as I say. Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer. Good film, but overrated, in my view. Uh, Jeffrey Wright, American Fiction. So there you have it. I think you've got a career ahead of you in Hollywood doing this next year. So, so... Uh, that, that really charismatic and exciting so Mar you just Mar Mar it. But Margot Robbie has not made Best Actress, so I, I suppose that's something. Well, uh, she's not nominated for it. No, she's yeah, not nominated, I mean, no. I haven't seen it, but really, you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect that to win many awards. It's, it doesn't look Well, it's there for... It's in, in a, I mean, I haven't seen it, don't want to see it particularly, but it is in there as Best Picture, so... Uh, uh, we await uh, the results of this year's Academy Awards uh, with bated breath. I couldn't give a... Monkeys. Monkeys. How's, how's I that? really how's couldn't that? give a monkeys. No. Just, yeah, it well, I've doesn't interest that, me. I've been to the Oscars uh, many times, obviously, and um, they're like every other cere uh, awards ceremony. Complete chaos, complete mess, you know? <laughs> complete disorganisation. They're... they're there's nothing special. The only thing is you do get, you get this goodie bag, and depending on where you are in the social ladder in Hollywood. So journalists, you get quite a good goodie bag. You know, you get things like watches in there. And things really? Like but, 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 the, but the actors... The, but the nominee of a yeah, no, ceremony hey, I've on. ever heard in my there's, life. There's no, uh, there's no point in... Yeah, but the, the, the nominees, the big stars, I mean, they get sort of Rolexes, they get cars, I mean, God knows But what. in a goodie bag? I mean, yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, they'll, they'll get That's things... Wild. It's it's enormous what they uh, what they uh, get given over ah. there. So well, you a, couldn't you couldn't get that through someone's yeah. letterbox, could you? It's a festival of uh, yeah, very good festival of freebies. Take it away. Yeah, so you couldn't get that in your letterbox, could you? Uh, yeah. You might not get anything in your letterbox on a Saturday if the Royal Mail have their way, because they've been saying we can't afford to carry on delivering on a Saturday. We just don't have the resources to do it. And the Prime Minister has said. Boo to you, you have to. So we've been asking, is Rishi Sunak right to stop the post office scrapping Saturday deliveries? You can give us a call, 0344 499 1000, if you want to be patched through to the studio and speak to us live after Kevin's uh, Oscar nominees announcement. Uh, who could resist? You can text us, <laughs> 87 treble 2 or you can tweet us on X. The handle for that is at Talk TV. Or you could even write your thoughts on a postcard and send it to Don't Bother. Uh, and your texts and tweets have been coming in on this thick and fast. John thinks this is a pathway to making your phone or computer your master. Once Royal Mail goes, then so does all service by post. And Jack says the Tories stole millions from the public purse. The sale of the Royal Mail was designed to transfer wealth and it worked. Bobby adds, no, because we're all knackered. Royal Mail bosses have turned into monsters lately, rewarding the efforts Posties made during the mad years of 2020 and 2021 by adding more and more work, wrecking their bodies all over the country so that they can make more profits. Oh, I, want to, I want to know Shameful. a bit more about these mad years Shameful. of 20, 2020 and 2021. Yeah, yeah we'll have to get into that. And Glenn yeah. says, uh, you may as well stop the Royal Mail deliveries altogether. Absolutely useless. Useless they are. Oh, I've got a lovely postman, actually. He's a really, really decent guy. And he's one of the Ours only postmen one. who, when he knocks on your door and you sort of hear it from upstairs and you're pelting down to try and get there, he waits. 
He actually waits Ours because... Ours is good, he wears shorts all the year Amazon around. Amazon ones, just don't they all? Naff yeah. off. Do they all wear shorts? Yeah, Ours I think it's shorts. the thing, it's like saddles and shorts. It's like rain or shine, January, February, they're yeah. always in shorts. It's yeah. a posty thing. Well, if anyone out there knows the post officer, who, uh, post office man, delivery man, who uh, works in the um, SW5 area, tell him he's a great man. Shout out on television for him. I, I'm very fond of and him. And if anyone's got a uh, postman who wears long trousers, give us a call, 03444991000. <laughs> So is it, apparently is they it all wear shorts. regulation that you've got to wear those short sleeve shirts as I well? I think so. I yeah, think you've got so. to have a short sleeve shirt. That is very post office. Ours is a good guy as well. But anyway, oh, <laughs> just what I tell you. <laughs> Anyone else want to phone in? Tell us how good your postman is. We want to hear it. Why not? Yeah, I Why like not? postmen do a sterling they service. They do. They do. Right. Moving on.